is absolutely essential to move out of your hometown, preferably to another state where you don't know anybody so that you can actually reinvent yourself and become the person that you want to become. So why did I move to Tampa? I moved to Tampa, Florida. That's what this video is about. And it's also about, it's also about reinventing yourself. So first let's talk about why did I move to Tampa, Florida? Well, I lived in Chicago, Illinois, actually the suburbs of Chicago, Illinois, and I had just gotten done going through a very depressing, gray, sunless winter. And when springtime came and the sun came out, I noticed that everybody was so happy in Illinois. Like the vibe just completely changed. So I made an agreement with myself that I was going to move down south somewhere that has more sun all year round because I realized how important the sun and the weather is to your happiness. And that's when I decided to start applying for jobs in Florida. So I was looking at either Miami or Tampa. I want to eventually end up in Miami because I like the high energy and entrepreneurial energy in Miami. And that's what I'm looking for. But so far, Tampa Bay has been amazing. And I ended up landing a good paying job in Tampa that allows me to live a pretty good lifestyle down here. I live downtown Tampa in Channel Side. And I mean, there's nothing, there's only really good things I can say about living in Tampa, Florida so far. So that's why I moved down here. And I also moved down here to reinvent myself. Because I believe that in order to become the person that you want to become, you have to get away from all of your old friends, from your family, um, from everything that you know, to reinvent yourself and go through a rebirth. And the reason for that is because when you're around the same people you've known your entire life, they have this certain vision of you and these certain expectations of you. And you subconsciously fit into those criteria. Because imagine if you just showed up one day to your family's house acting like a, the person that you actually want to become. They would be confused and it wouldn't feel right. You would feel awkward doing it. So you guess what you do? You fit into that frame that they have of you. So it is absolutely essential to move out of your hometown, preferably to another state where you don't know anybody so that you can actually reinvent yourself and become the person that you want to become. So that is why I moved to Tampa, Florida. And like I said, I live downtown and I love the downtown vibe because there's a bunch of fit, athletic people um, that are working hard, they're grinding. The gym I go to in downtown Tampa always has Lamborghinis and G-Wagons parked out front. There's a ton of entrepreneurs. So the vibe down here is really amazing. Um, but I can say if I didn't live downtown Tampa, I'm not sure if I would really think much of it. Like if I lived in the suburbs of Tampa, I don't think I would be as optimistic about it. Because, I mean, let's let's get real. The suburbs of any city are exactly the same. You have the same stores, the same shopping centers, the same stuff to do. So if you plan on just moving to a suburb in another state, I mean, you're really just gonna end up in the same place, but in a different environment, different weather. Um, so if you can move to a city, because there's just so many different people and so many different, so much diversity and so many different people you can meet. Like last night, I went out by myself on a Saturday night and I was just walking around downtown Tampa and I heard this house music. I love house music, by the way. I heard house music coming from the top of this hotel. 
So I'm just like, screw it. Let's go find out what's happening. So I made my way to the top of this hotel and it was badass, like super classy vibes, house music playing. Um, the lighting was perfect. Skyscrapers all around the building. I ended up meeting a bunch of really cool people. Um, got a bunch of phone numbers um, from different people that I can network with. So you got to put yourself out there too. When you do move to a new city, if you isolate yourself and you get back into your routine, it's so easy to get back into your routine, your old routine that you had in your home state. And that's not going to get you anywhere. So you have to continually get out of your comfort zone in order to grow. So right now I live in channel side district in downtown Tampa. And if you're ever thinking about moving to Tampa, I would highly recommend this area because there's so many things to do within walking distance. There's two pretty amazing gyms. There's a crunch fitness and which is a pretty good gym. It's only like 15 bucks a month, but I recently got a membership at gold gym, Tampa works in downtown Tampa. And that, that gym's a little bit more pricey, but holy shit, is it worth it? The energy there is amazing. And I'm all about finding the places that have the best energy. And there is a grocery store, gas station right here. Like there's everything you need. Like you never really have to leave this area of downtown Tampa. So yeah, I moved down to Tampa to reinvent myself. And so far I love it. I love Tampa Bay. It has been a mostly amazing experience so far. And I plan on starting uh, my own businesses and, you know, starting my own podcast, which is what this is, the Triton Cade Lifestyle Podcast, where I just want to help, help people, primarily men, become the best versions of themselves. There's just so much I want to do on the online space. And I believe living in downtown Tampa will give me that, that entrepreneurial energy that I'm looking for. Because I've met so many entrepreneurs while I've been down here. Um, I've met people that own their own media companies. Um, I've met people that own their own insurance companies and they're all young guys. They're all in their twenties and they're killing it. They're driving like Lamborghinis and people that own their own med spas. And it's just, I mean, your environment is going to create who you become. If you live in a small town where people are working just regular jobs, construction jobs, nursing jobs, um, front desk jobs. That's what you're going to become. You need to be surrounded by people that you want to become like. So people that own their own businesses that are, and that are crushing it and have the freedom to travel whenever they want. And you know, they're, they're happy with what they're doing. You got to put yourself in that environment. And that's another reason why I moved to downtown Tampa almost kind of against like photos and videos because constantly having this recording of your past, like with these old photos of you, this old video footage of you, it almost makes you get stuck in your past because then you see this picture of you from when you're, you know, 22 years old and maybe you're getting wasted all the time and making bad decisions. It's like you almost become reassociated with that version of yourself. So I'm kind of against like photos and video footage um, because if you're on the path of reinvention and becoming the highest purpose of yourself, you literally have to shed who you were, you know, using the, the caterpillar and cocoon analogy, you know, and blossoming into a butterfly, you have to let go of the past, which is extremely hard to do because you're letting go of your old self. And that's all you've ever known. And I mean, the secret guys to becoming the best version of yourself is going through extreme discomfort, pain, and suffering. Because if you graduate high school, go to college, and you get a nice, cushy corporate job, and you're living in your comfort zone for 35, 40 years until you retire, and you've never gone through any trials and tribulations, you're not going to become great. You're just going to be average, and you live an average life. But the people who are at the top and who have succeeded in so many different avenues of life, they have gone through some shit, guys. Like you have no idea. If you haven't been through shit, you have no idea what they've been through. 
So every time when I do go through pain and suffering, I'm actually kind of happy for it because I know I'm going to become a better man on the other side of that pain and suffering. So to conclude this video, I moved down to Tampa Bay, Florida to reinvent myself, to start these businesses I've always wanted to start and to become this person I've always wanted to become. And if you're thinking about moving to Tampa, Florida, if that's why you clicked on this video, I highly recommend it. But I would recommend if you live in Tampa, the Tampa area, live downtown Tampa. Okay, you don't want to live outside of downtown Tampa. Or live across the bay and live in like St. Pete's Beach, Clearwater, and get an apartment next to the beach. Um, I'm kind of regretting I didn't do that because I want to be within walking distance of the beach. Um, because I just love walking barefoot and getting sun. Um, downtown St. Pete's is badass too. So I would highly recommend moving to this area. It's amazing. The only negative thing I have to say about the Tampa Bay area is the traffic. Okay, the traffic is horrible. I mean, there are so many people moving down here from up north like myself. And the traffic is just absurd. Okay, so if you have to commute for work, it's really going to drain you and drain your energy. So try to get a place as close to work as possible. And if you can work remotely, just move down here. It's amazing. So that's it for this podcast, everyone. I will see you in the next one. And I am looking forward to seeing you soon. Peace.